Number 93. Explain why an acid base indicator changes color over a range of pH values rather than at a specific pH. Okay. So here I brought up all of the acid base indicators. You probably aren't going to use all of them in your chemistry lab class, but you probably will see a couple of them. Uh, and you might see them in your biology class too, if you guys are taking uh, bio as well. Uh, some general ones you might see is the phenolphthalein. Uh, you might see uh, bromphenol blue. We also have thymol blue. Sometimes you'll see these, but these are basically all acid base indicators. And as you can see here, there is always a change in color over a range of pHs, right? So let's just pick one. It doesn't really matter which one you talk about. Generally, we usually like to talk about phenolphthalein because you probably will see this one uh, in your lab class. So we'll pick that one. And phenolphthalein changes color basically from a pH of 8 all the way to 10. Now, keep in mind that these, this pH range is only happening because of the changes in the concentration between the buffers, right? There's always going to be a, con and maybe I'll put this in blue, there's always going to be a conjugate, uh, there's always going to be a concentration of the base, right? And divided by the conjugate acid, right, the molarity of the conjugate acid, this comes from the, uh, what's that called, henderson hasselbach equation, right? So it just depends on who you have more of, right? If you have more base than acid, your pH is going to be roughly on the higher end, and if you drop, right, if you increase the amount of acid and you have less base, that's your pH is going to be over closer to the 8 side. So basically, keep in mind that pH values talk about in terms of powers, right? Right in here is a 9 value, and every time that you go up one number, it's a power of 10 that you're actually increasing, so from 8 to 10, you're actually talking about a power of 100 times difference between the concentration of the base and the acid. That's why it's a range of values and not just one specific value, meaning that the pH change is going to happen at specifically 8 or at specifically 10. Because pH is, you know, rooted in, you know, a power. So going from an 8 to a 10, that's the change, change in concentration of 100 times the amount. So that means that as you're going from 8 to 10, the base would have had to have increased by, you know, 100 times, right? So... That's why it's over a range of values, because it's linked to the power rule, 10 raised to whatever number, and 10 to 10 times, you know, equals 100. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. We are getting ready to finish up this chapter. We're doing a couple more titration questions, so hang on tight, and we will get to it. All right. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.